Hi! In the previous section, we talked about Docker Secret, how to use secrets, how to create a secret. In this section, we are going to take a look at building my web application Docker file, deploy my services, using Docker Secret with my services, and holding updates. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is a Docker file. I'm going to explain about our web application. We are going to check the Docker file and build our custom image. Just to recap, what is a Docker file? Docker can build images automatically by reading the instructions from a Docker file. A Docker file is a text document that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image. What is our web application? Our web application was written in Golang and it's using a MongoDB database to store names. So if we go to the command line, we can see that on main go, we have services, but on the end, we have three entry points. We have person, slash person, slash add. You can insert names using this entry point, slash person. You can get all the names from the database, and the slash health is a entry point used just inside of Docker. The slash health is the entry point used to check if the application is running and if the application is okay. If the application is failing to answer the health, Docker is going to stop this container and will create a new one. So let's check our Docker file. Since Docker 17.05, Docker built a new feature called Docker File Multistage. So on the same file, we can have more than one stage. Before we should split that, but now we can have all in one. So as you can see, my from, I'm using a Golan container and I call it this step as build. So I'm going to create my work directory like this. And I'm going to copy all the code from my local machine to inside of my container. And after that, I need to solve some dependencies related to Go. I need to run, because this is a Alpine, I have to update Alpine and then I can install Git because I need git for to run this go get command because I need to download the MongoDB driver. And then after that, I am compiling my code with go build, minus v is verbose, minus always is the output is going to be names dash demo. Then we have the front alpine. This is the second container and it's going to be the final one. I'm exposing the part 8080. I create one environment variable that it's used on the health service and with the app version 1.0.0. And here I am copying my binary from the build step to from this path here. And I'm copying to this path. I'm just changing the permissions. I create my health check. So it's the one, the service that I explained you before. So then Docker is going to call the service. If the service is returning the 200 status, this is okay. Docker is going to say, hey, it's good. We can continue. And Docker is going to test this every 10 seconds. As soon as my service starts to return, for example, 404, it means page not found, or any other error, Docker is going to stop this container 
and start a new one. And the last command is I am executing the binary that we create. So let's do that. Let's build our container now. So I'm going to build to use the docker build minus t. So the name of my container is going to be Alberto Giviana slash names dash demo. And this dot is just to mean that my Docker file is on the same folder. So if I press enter, we have 11 steps. So I'm fetching the Golang image. And then we start to build our image. Now it's pulling the second image. So as you can see here, we have 11 steps. So the first one is downloading, fetching Golang API, creating my directory, copying the files, update the containers, and installing git and then compile my project then we are going to the second container where we are pulling the alpine image we are exposing for we create the app version environment variable we are copying the binary from the previous step we are changing the permission, creating the health check, and pointing the command to our names-demo. If we check now, we have three images, and my final image, the Alberto Giviana slash names-demo, is just 18 megabytes. So after that, we can run a Docker push. Alberto Diviana, and we are going to push to Docker Hub. And with this image ready, we can, on the next video, deploy our services on the Swarm cluster.